All right, so the main answer was A. Anyone want to give me a reason why you'd pick A? Does this feel like a question that I've asked before? Which question? What was it about when I asked it before? It was about fluid flowing through two pipes. This is a question that I asked before, except now it's an electrical circuit question. If electrical charge is flowing through this one, it has no place to go other than to flow, be flowing through the second one also. If those two are stacked up one right after the other and there's no other place for electrical charge to go, then it has to go through both or none. It could be zero current through both, but if there's a current of one amp through this one, in other words, one coulomb per second ends up right here, that means one coulomb per second has to end up right there. It can't collect in the center. There's no place to put it. You can't have things charging up, and you can't invent electrons out of nowhere in the center. So whatever's coming in there, there's electrons throughout, and so the same current has to go through both. Any questions about that one? Conservation of matter was the, would, would be one way of explaining that. Electrons are conserved. If there's electrons going through R1, same number per unit time are going through R2. So, two bulbs, this is like a battery. Gives you a voltage, puts a voltage, pushes current through. It's going th into this one, then it goes through here. This is irrelevant right now. It goes through here, these are connected, it goes through this one, and then it goes through that. It looks just like that picture there. Battery, this is the positive side of the battery. So the battery has, pushes current this way, through this one, through that one and then around. What happens if I pull one of those out so the end result looks like this? That's my question for you. Um, one thing I should probably tell you is that basically the brightness of this depends on the current. Now I, I showed you earlier, I think, that the power depends on the current squared. So strictly speaking, it does depend on the current squared. But if the current goes up, it'll be brighter. If the current goes down, it'll be less bright. If there's no current, it'll just be a dark bulb. So talk about it all you want. What do you think? Yeah, question. Are we assuming that without the light bulb there, that the survey is going to be weak? Without the light bulb there, the one wire comes in from one side and one comes in from the other and there's a gap between them and they're not connected by that light bulb filament anymore. Until when I, when I have the light bulb in there, when I have the light bulb in here, the wire connects to a light bulb filament which connects to the other wire. When I take the light bulb out, uh, it's not, that filament's not there anymore. So that picture is a representative of what's going to happen when I pull that bulb out. 